Songwriting is the greatest joy that I have in my life. It's the favorite, my favorite element of what I do. Taking it in and being grateful every day for the fact that I get to write songs for a living because a lot of people write songs and it doesn't get to be what keeps their lights on. And for me, to be able to be one of those people, I never forget how lucky I am. With anything, you know, distance makes the heart go fonder. So having that distance from my fans for the longest I've ever had since I was 12 years old, having almost two years separated from me and my audience, the, the pandemic kind of reunited and, and just lit that, that spark again for me for the gratitude that I have for being able to be a live musician first. I think I've had, in a way, this amazing gift that my audience grew up with me. It's very different than the relationship that I have with the public or the press or the media or their perception of me, but it's really stayed grounded in the really unique relationship that I have with my fans and with my audience. Because a lot of us were the same age. The people that watched my show were my same age. I'm very passionate about a lot of things, especially different forms of creativity and artistry. I never sign or say I'll collaborate with someone that I don't have the capacity to actually give them what they deserve, which is my full focus, my attention and my ideas. And when I'm depleted, I don't have as good of ideas. Right now, a focus of mine is my collaboration that I have with Gucci. It was just very natural for me. I, I respect Gucci as a brand. I love what they're doing philanthropically. We actually shared a lot of the same team members uh, from Happy Hippie and Gucci without even knowing we were ever gonna partner up. So we already, we align on our values and our morals and then also making beautiful clothes. Happy Hippie is my purpose. I think the activism and artistry they're really one. I think artists come with a message. And my message was justice, equality, celebration of individuality. And it's been a beautiful evolution, not just to watch, but as, you know, the founder of Happy Hippie to see how much process we've had in the last five years, not just Happy Hippie, but it kind of seems globally that the conversation of love, acceptance, justice, equality, that is the topic right now. And it's just really beautiful to be alive and experience this new kind of revolutionary time that we're all living in. It feels like there's a nice shift happening where people may not completely change their mind, but their mind is open. And that's really the way that you can get in there with your own message.